Life lesson 82. Be curious. This is very interesting life lesson. I've been curious since a kid, a very small kid. And one of the reasons why I'm curious, growing up as a child, I couldn't rely on the information I was given. Because of that betrayal, it led me into a path of questioning everything. Everything. Even when I was at school, I'd question why I was being educated a certain way. I'd, I'd be very curious to find out, you know, where did this come from? Where did the curriculum come from? Even though I wasn't particularly good at reading and writing, I was good at absorbing knowledge, asking questions, enhance our lives. Because the better equipped with information that we are, knowledge base, the easier it is to make informed decisions on big stuff. It is probably more relevant today than I've ever seen it in my lifetime, and I'm 60 odd years of age. Because this world is so interconnected today, it's so instant, the internet gives us access to, to huge amounts of data. The problem is anyone with a microphone like me can sit on a platform and spout their mouth off about anything and say, well, this is a fact or that is a fact without actually having the correct information themselves. And sometimes we look at people, we think they're an authority in what they're talking about. They could be misinformed. There's an old saying, right? A little bit of information is dangerous. And I see that all the time. People are spouting their mouths off about all sorts of things they don't really understand. They haven't got a great grasp on. They think everything's a conspiracy theory. They think everyone's on the tape. If someone tells me something, have you got proof? So I'm like a little fact checker myself. So if someone tells me something, the first thing I'm doing is I'm searching for information online to clarify that, whatever that information is. And here's the thing. I don't even rely immediately on the information that I find on the net because the first question I'm asking is who wrote it? When did they write it? What's their authority in that field? So I'm looking for credible sources to back up the information that I've been given. If I can't do that, then I'm not going to take it as read. I can't, I can't do that. I need, I need to get curious about everything. I question everything. You just don't know what's right nowadays, especially now. You're starting to see artificial intelligence start to play around with media in a way that you're going to question. You've got to question everything. You're not going to be able to believe everything you see. You're going to have to ask yourself the question, is this correct? I, I'm curious. I need to find out. And it's one of the reasons why I tend to have quite insightful views on things. Is because the information I gather is correct or has been challenged to find out whether the information is credible or not. I hear it many often. I heard it on the internet. I saw it on the internet. And who, who said it? Well, I, I saw it on the internet. And just because it was on the internet, someone said, that's correct. You might have some crap pop doctor turning around and say that, that this is all wrong and I mean, it's always one person comes out and challenges the status quo and then comes up with some crackpot conspiracy theory. You know, I'm sure there are conspiracy theories out there, you know, genuine ones, but I'd want a bit more information to back up their theories, a bit more credibility than somebody just saying, this is the case. I want you to be curious on everything, even the people that you know around you, unless they've got strong knowledge background and they know what they're talking about, just be curious and ask some questions. You don't have to be rude about it. Just so where did that come from then? Who said that? And always look at whatever's been said, whether it's been said in the right context or not, because that's quite important, because things can be taken out of context. And that's important. And this really leads well on to life lesson number 81, which is don't be gullible. So until then.